this feeling uh, of being sort of, I don't know, present in the moment, like there are very few times I feel that I'm like actually present in the moment in that sense. It's like fucking, I don't know, drugs, sex, maybe fucking roller coasters, but that's about it. Yeah, what's well, like what I like, I think what I end up doing, like, because of the, like the fighting the shooting is I more or less pressure myself into having to be in the moment because there's no other option. Like, it's so dangerous or crazy otherwise. Like, I, I have to almost like pressure myself, like, corner myself to do it. Mm. But, but I, I also like pass on a lot of shooting opportunities or fighting opportunities because if I'm in, the, I'll just be like, Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> yeah, well, if I'm at the gym doing a set of reps or anything, I'd be like, I can't think about anything. Like, just fucking thinking, going any off somewhere, instead of actually like, okay, now I gotta strain my muscle as hard as I can to get as much I can out of yeah. this training. Well, in so, order to do repetitive stuff like that, like, if I'm yeah. doing weights or something, I have to have something to distract my mind. But. Yeah, listening to music or podcast or something, fucking anything. <laughs> Yeah, but if I find something that that actually engages my mind at the same time, then I'll I'll go crazy. But but I, I like I see things that do both. <laughs> They're kind of hard to find. Yeah, I'd like to go shooting again. It was fun. Do you go out and shoot? Like randomly in New Mexico, like is it open open enough that you can go out and say, okay, here's a part where we can shoot at things? Well, at yeah. my family's place, yeah. I mean, I can. I live a little closer to the highway now, but like in my at <clears throat> the house where I grew up, which is like three miles from where I live, it's we go out on the front porch and we can shoot. I mean, we have you can shoot as far as you want, whenever you want. That's great. That must be and, then, fun. and then we built a range. We have a dozer, so we built. A, we have like now we have like a proper little range with little bays. And then my dad gets excited about targets, so we have we have like a Death Star and all these other crazy targets that my dad's built. Do you do you go out and shoot rabbits? Or Some not really. I, I never. I go shoot prairie dogs. You shoot prairie dogs. Yeah, I'll shoot prairie dogs. Why but do I don't shoot? much. <laughs> Why do you shoot them? Because they're pests. They're pests. Okay. They're demon rodents. <laughs> do they? Do they? Is it fun to shoot them? It can be. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's there's always it's always a target rich environment because you're never going to shoot them all. But uh, you know, and depending on the time of the year and what they're acting like. But I like to start with like a 22 pistol and work out to about 50 yards and then. And then you kind of you kind of wear that that space out, and then you move to like a open sight AR or something. Move out to like 150 yards, work that area, and then I go like pull my like hunting rifle out with a with a good glass on it, and I like work out to like 400 yards. You know, <laughs> got a structure to maximize the. You think got prairie dogs, huh? Yeah. That's yeah. fun. That sounds so much fun. It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm killing all these prairie dogs, or you just don't care. It's just uh, well, there's no dogs. dogs. There's you shit loads of them, right? How many prairie dogs are there? Thousands, <laughs> and they're 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 a invasive, destructive species. So there you go. That makes them makes them cannon fodder in my book. Pretty much, like like I've like classified things. There's like there's certain things that you're like. The point is, is that they're way more destructive. And problematic in in and sometimes it's contextual, but but you know like coyotes or prairie dogs or you know badgers or something. Just you're just like they're more of a pest than they are not. So you try to get rid of them. Then there's things that like can become pests, like rabbits. Like they're not inherently varmints, but if you get too many of them, they can become pests or deer. And a lot of those things can kind of in the middle. It's usually a population thing is when they get to be a pest. Prairie dogs are just terrible. Like they serve no functional, useful purpose, and they <clears throat> they destroy the uh, the vegetation. So like if I'm they're on grass, I want to like, take I want to take a vacation. I want to go. I want to take a little trip here. I want to go to try a trip to New Mexico, and I want to go prairie dog hunting. Now, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do this. Probably okay. not for a while. 
Like, will you, will you take me for a dog hunting if I go to New Mexico and I get a hotel room somewhere near you? That I, how far is the nearest hotel from you? Uh, it's like thirteen miles or something. Okay, that's reason reasonable distance. It, it's it's fifteen minutes. It's not far. Will you take me for a dog hunting? I'll take you for a dog hunting. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm going. This is definitely going to happen. I just have to figure out a date range. So I got uh, states and TOC coming okay. up in May. And I've tight 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 time right now, but I was yeah. also going. When is it too hot to go prairie dog hunting? How late is too hot? It's never really too hot, but it's. I mean, you're from California, so you probably don't. You're not going to be bothered by the heat too much. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what. Spring is always a good time because the little, <laughs> people are going to think I'm, you know, the little, they're the little like adolescent prairie dogs are out and that's particularly sort of fun. <laughs> that's great. Okay. They line up and you can like line up and you're like, can get three at once or something. All right. Well, be, try well it possible for us to do this sometime in April. Will that be possible? Probably. Yeah. April's okay. Probably a good time. Can you look at your calendar and come up with a date range sometime in April that would be good for you? Um, that for you to take a, a day. Uh, it just takes a day, one day, and um, we'll go make some videos shooting prairie dogs, and uh, maybe we'll go have lunch. Something I don't know. Like, this is my lunch. random. Inter- this is my internet friend, and he's here to shoot prairie dogs. <laughs> okay. Listen, I have visited multiple people with no incident. I have have yet to have any problem visiting anybody. So yeah, you, I, you can rely on me to be an upright citizen. Yeah. No. no. Catch my dad. He'll, he'll like talk your ear off or whatever. You guys would probably have fun. I, I would. I would love to make a video with him if he's down too. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> so my mom will raise the eyebrow. She'll be like, "What?" <laughs> well, it's one of the one of the things that that this channel has always. You give me the standard like you're doing what it's 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 resigned because you know I mean, she's been around it forever, but it's it's that resigned like. I don't understand. <laughs> I no, don't it's know okay. why you okay. would do this. He's an internet friend. It's okay. I know him from the internet. Uh, it's hilarious. Dude. It's just funny. I'm just imagining it in my head. You know. Well, uh, the weirdest was when I went to visit the first person I ever visited, Lorenz Walker, and his parents were all like, you know, I went to the door. And it wasn't until I got to the door that I realized, oh wait, this is weird. <laughs> this isn't normal. You're visiting this 18 year old. Dude in Colorado to do what again? <laughs> and I forget sometimes about those like appropriate like like things, and you're like, wait, oh yes, that's some might look at this wrongly. <laughs> right. Like I forget. Uh, when, we, when we left to go to dinner, she's like, "You're coming back, right?" <laughs> <laughs> It's right at the moment. April's pretty open, so I mean, weekends are definitely best. Weekends are better. Okay. Yeah, because uh, then Saturday I don't have to take very, off work. Saturday is very feasible for me. Um, Sunday is not good. So, if I were to leave on a fr- how long will it take me to drive to New Mexico? Which side of it are you on? The west side or the east side? East side. Oh shit. Yeah, east I'm the long way. You're a long ways away. Hmm. I'm as far as I'm almost as far as you can get without being into Texas. What's the closest airport to you? Um, as far as a big air, uh, like something that would come out of L.A. or something would be um, Lubbock or Amarillo. It's about a hundred miles. You're you're in BF nowhere, huh? I'm a hundred miles from everything. Like, <laughs> Okay. Stuff well, is convenient enough, but yeah. let me look at let me look at flights things. Let me let me look at my transportation options too. I'll look into that today. Yeah, or you can fly if you want to get really close. Like you can also there is a there's a there's a fly a shuttle flight out of DFW. See if you you can fly to DFW and then which is I know it's past, but everything comes from DFW in my part of the world, and mm-hmm. then you can fly to the the town where I work, which is pretty close. Okay, but um, let me look into that then. Gotcha. You, you're working on Facebook, huh? Yeah, well, I'll yeah. talk about Facebook at some point. Okay, okay. I'll be cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, pretty dog hunting is fun. I get you. So we'll get some VMAXs loaded up, and 
because that way if you hit them on the lower part because it's a frag it's a frag bullet that disintegrates so you get a nice uh you can see how far in the air you can launch them <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun oh boy okay um cool that sounds super cool uh so I'm going to go, I, the, the, that video where I was smacking us Cyrus around should be done now, uploading. So I'm going to go make, mess around with it. I'll okay. Do you, do you want to talk to him? Huh? Do you want to talk on. to him? He's in the other room. Uh, mm, not right now. I'm making a video. I'm going to make the video. Okay. I unlocked this room now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just imagining Eric come and uh, call Prairie Dogs. That would be hilarious. Are they like talking in room one now? I want to be in room one. Well, there's like nine people in room one. Really? <laughs> 